Okay friends, so in the previous video we worked with posts and users. So we get all the posts and we make a for each post and display the user of the posts. In the previous video also we had all the posts belong to the same user, but I changed that. So we have 10 users here and all of them has a post. And I displayed here. Good. Now let's do in this video the opposite. So I'm going to get all the users, make a for each and display the user here username and the last uh, post title for this user for example so let's do that let's open the vs code and on the web first let's change the query so instead of getting the post i'm going to get the users so here i'm going to say dollar sign users to be equal with a user model and the same i'm going to say query latest and also let's say paginate we have only 10 users but just uh, be the same and now in here say users like this hit save let's open now the welcome blade and instead of posts we make for each for the users so users as a user and here we just need to say user dollar sign user name now for the post title, we need the latest and display the title. So let's say a latest post here. And uh, let's say now uh, user. I have a relationship between user and post. So user post and give me the latest. We need only the one. So let's say first also and display the title like this and here also we need to change that to be users and if i save now and come here and refresh yeah works we have user and the latest post of this user we display the title but as you can see here on the laravel debug bar we have 12 queries 20 models 10 posts and 10 users now uh, we have here select all from users order by created out desk okay but we have here select all from post where post user id is one and then the same for the user id two three and last of ten good let's change that and let's use the equal loading so let's go to the web and the same let's add the eager loading so with equal loading of post and let's open up for the user just to show you user model here we have the relationship post method has many okay let's save this okay now because the user post is a collection we can say uh, sort by task and add here create a dot like this first okay save and let's come here and now if i come here yeah we have only three queries refresh yeah only three queries or so select all from posts where post user id in one and last of ten but uh, as you can see we have a models 110 100 posts we have in the database and 10 users and also we can fix that so let's i'm going to open a new tab and i'm going to search for the laravel.com and here let's search on the laravel now for the advanced subquery so let's say advanced subquery on the eloquent wireland and here we have an example advanced subqueries for destination with flight we can add the add select last flight and then on the destination we can display the last flight so here we have we say flight select the name and the last flight is going to display the name of the flight so let's copy this and open the web 
PHP instead of with posts. Now, let's paste this one. So add select instead of flight. We can say post. And on the post, we are going to select the title because we need to display the title, not the name. And here I'm going to say uh, latest post title. So post select the title where column, not destination ID, but user ID. We have the user ID on the post. So if I open the post table, here we have the user ID. And instead of destinations, here we are in the user's ID and order by desk. And I'm going to say uh, created add here. And we need to display the limit one. Okay, let us paginate. Good. Now, if I save and on the welcome now, instead of saying uh, post sort by desk and so on, we just need to display uh, that this latest post title. So let's copy this and paste it here. If I save now, it is more, uh, it's like a with count. And let's go. On the browser and the refresh, as you can see, it's working correctly, and we have only two queries and ten models, only the models from the user user model, and only two queries, which is a very good performance. Okay, friends, and this is how you can use the advanced subqueries. So add here, add select, and with that you can maximize your performance on your application. I hope you enjoy friends and if you like don't forget to subscribe my channel, like the video and see you in the next one. All the best and thank you very much.